This lesson is about function value of compositions. When we're given two functions, in this case, f of x equals 3x squared minus 5, and g of x equals x plus 7, we want to find f of g of 2, f of g of negative 1, g of f of 2, and g of f of negative 1. In previous videos, I've shown you how to find f of g of x and g of f of x, and how to use a function value for those. However, on these, we're not finding the f of g of x first. So we want to see if there's a way to do this without having to go through the f of g of x process. We can actually rewrite this f of g of 2 as f parentheses g of 2. And then we actually want to plug 2 into the g of x function. So I would have f of, well, what is g of 2? Well, g of 2 would be 2 plus 7, 2 plus 7. So that's going to be f of 9. Now this is telling us to take that result and substitute it into f. So f is 3x squared minus 5. This is going to be 3 times 9 squared minus 5. So let's see what that will give us. 3 times 9 squared minus 5 is 238. You will get the same result if you were to do f of g of x, find that result, and then plug in 2. You should also get 238, but you can actually work this problem either way. Let's look at the b part, f of g of negative 1. I want to go through the same process. f of g of negative 1. This is going to give me f of, now I'm taking negative 1 and putting it in here, so negative 1 plus 7 is f of 6. This is going to give me now 6 into f, so this is 3 times 6 squared minus 5, and this gives me 103. So that would be your answer there, as well as that, your answer there. Okay, let's see what happens when we do g of f. So not going to be the same result most of the time. Okay, if it is, it's completely coincidence. So I'm going to rewrite this as g of f of 2. Now we're going in the reverse. So we need to take 2 and plug it into 3x squared minus 5. So this is going to be 3 times 2 squared minus 5, but that's on the inside of g. Let's pull it up so you can see it. So I need to figure out what this is first. So I've got g of... 3 times 2 squared minus 5, which is 7. And then I'm going to take that 7 and substitute it into this x plus 7. So this is going to be 7 plus 7, which is 14. So notice that our f of g of 2 was not the same thing as g of f of 2. Okay? So that was my answer there. And then let's see what happens when I do the same thing here. I've got g of f of negative 1. Be very careful when plugging in negative 1s, especially with exponents. So I'm going to take the g and leave it on the outside, and I'm taking negative 1 and plugging it into 3x squared minus 5. This is going to be 3x, in this case is negative 1, squared minus 5. So negative 1 squared is actually just 1, and 1 times 3 is 3, and 3 minus 5 is negative 2. You can absolutely do that in the calculator, but you do need to make sure that you parentheses around the negative 1 and then square it. The square should go on the outside, not the inside of the parentheses. So this is going to be g of negative 2. And last, we take the negative 2. We're going to plug it in x plus, two, or x plus 7. So negative 2 plus 7 gives me 5. So that's an example of how you find values of compositions. Again, you can find f of g of x or g of f of x and plug those numbers in as well. You should get the same answer either way.